Audrey Mansfield. Hey, Audrey, what's up? Hey, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Did you make any bets this weekend? You know what, I didn't. Any sports bets? I didn't. Oh. I didn't. I sort of like, I had a very relaxing day, lots of long walks. The weather oh, was so I fabulous. know. It was so I incredible. I just loved it. So yeah. I had lots of long walks and a nice luncheon, ladies' luncheon yesterday. That's a nice day. So very good. What a wonderful weekend. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about tanning. We're going to talk about why, why bake when you can fake a natural <laughs> glow. That's what we're going to talk about today. Fake bake. Fake bake. Yes. It's not bake and shake or, you know, right, the right, fake. Right. But this is, why, why fake it when you can get a glorious gl a glow? with a lovely tan and to get the right tips I went to the self tanning queen herself to find out just how to do it have a look what you want to do is either wax or shave about 24 hours in advance because you just don't want to put self tanner on red or irritated skin the other thing you want to do is get into the shower and do a good exfoliation so the first thing that we're going to do is make sure we have a little bit of the moisturizer on areas that are extremely dry and then we're going to apply to our calves first. So she's going to take about two pumps of product and nice and slowly work it into her skin in big circular motions. Then she's going to come and bring the product up into her thigh areas. And you want to make sure then you blend into your upper thigh and into your bikini line so there's no line of demarcation. At the end, what you want to do is look and see if there's any areas that you might want to pick up any excess product, but such as hyper, off the hyperpigmentated area, and just take a little Q-tip and swab it off. So if you don't have arms like an orangutan, <laughs> you sometimes can miss this really little triangular spot in the back of your back. And there are great back applicators out there that just help you with that one little area. Or of course, if you have someone in the house, a roommate, a friend, a significant other, sometimes just ask them to get a little bit on the back there. And so to maintain, you have to do it how many days? I suggest, depending on your own body cell tone or other, I usually will do a week later. But it actually is important to do a gentle exfoliation about three to four days later. The reason is it allows the tan to come off more evenly. Sinead, do we need to use a different product when we want to tan our face? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It depends on which product you're using. The product that we're going to use today is paraben free. Um, there's no propylene glycol or anything like that in the product so it is formulated for face and body if a person has blonde hair um, especially if it's highlighted what we want to do is protect the hairline a little bit by putting a tiny bit of lotion into that what will happen is the hair will absorb the lotion instead of the self tanner and then of course protecting the eyebrows as well it's fine to take a little bit of lotion put it into the eyebrows and then you're going to take about a a pea size worth of product and you're going to apply it like war paint meaning you're going to put it up on your forehead down onto your cheeks and then a little dab onto your chin and you're going to start from the center of your face working it around moving out and then blend up into your ears and around and behind the neck what is the biggest mistake that you see that people do on their face do they overdo no, uh, that can be an issue but one of the ones that people forget about is removing the product from the eyebrows so you want to make sure that you take a q-tip afterwards and really try and remove it out of the eyebrows and then of course the other thing is try to go into your hairline a little bit that way there's not a, a, a ring around the area and you just see a little bit more it's a little bit softer of a feathering into the hairline Audrey, where's your bathing suit? I, I, did you notice? You look out of place there. <laughs> covered up. You know, the worst time of this year, I, I hate putting all that stuff on. I really hate it. And what women really disliked before was the smell. Yeah, the smell. There yeah. was no smell with that product. Wow. I, I really, I, you know me, I have everybody testing products in the office all the time. So these were the results. I didn't just settle with that. I had the staff try it. And they loved that it came out in a dark color. Yeah. Because they could see where they'd missed a bit and where they hadn't blended very That's well. That's a good idea. First I thought, oh, that looks weird because it's, it's dark. dark. But then I know where it's going and make sure I can make sure it's blended. Right. It came out, did not smear, very nice color. Right away, you got immediate gratification, which was great. You didn't have to buy two products. It did your face and your body, oh. which was also good. And, but the best thing was no smell. 
Okay. Okay. So you know me, I went investigating what else was there out there. So yeah. this was our next one, the Zentan. Now it comes out green. So we had our doubts. Green? About it. Green. But it actually gave a lovely olive undertone. It came out very natural. It went on very well. Um, no smearing. Oh my gosh, and it it's is green. Smell it. Smell it, love. Okay. Smell. It's a lovely vanilla, oh, yeah. right? Oh, wow. Yeah. I wish I could put this on, but I, I, I need to ah, wait till it's almost I need yummy to... enough to eat. But so it really worked. We liked this one. It went on smoothly, did not smell, did not smear, smear and was not sticky. And it was also paraben yeah. free, which makes a big difference I for like a lot that of people. One. So it smells good. It, does it smell good? Yeah. Okay, then we went here, and this is a green one. And this is a, all done in plants, and it's on a, based on a sugar a base of it. Okay. And there's all plant derivatives, and all natural. The thing we didn't like about this one was that it dried really, really fast, but it also made your skin feel dry. Okay. So, but it went on, gave a lovely color. It was really good for fair people. You could sort of slowly build on it. But you got to blend quickly. Well, no, it doesn't it smear, fast? but it just made your skin feel dry. Oh, okay. So in some ways, it's an advantage when it dries fast. In other ways, you just feel like your skin's dry. So what I would suggest is just adding, if you have a product a bit like that, add, add a little moisture. bit of your favorite moisturizer yeah. with it and then put it on and, you know, use the gloves because right. It does stain. The gloves, but this I, was clear. Yeah. This was clear, this was green, and then the darker brown, they love that because it, it blended so well. You gotta also wipe off the elbows you do. Well, you and the ankle and heels. And the back of your back, back of your knees. knees. Sorry, you, I learned you, that. If you put a little bit of lotion on, like Sinead had said in the, the video. What there, are you doing, Spencer? Uh, you, don't need, you, you don't need, you don't need you a tan. You don't need a tan. Get out of here. Ultra dark. Um, there, you can have the ultra dark Dude, olive much. base. Okay. I got the beginning to fade a little bit. Okay, good luck. No, do you know what was funny? Because he's actually white. He's a Caucasian, yeah. but uh, no. he uses a lot of self-tanner. Earlier uh, in the show, they said, oh, Spencer's going to do it with you and Janelle. I said, why would Spencer do a tanning yeah. segment with because us? Because he's, he's got white. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. He's got great skin. He doesn't need that stuff. But it is the time of year, ladies, so spoil yourself and You know get what? A nice if you glow. do have a tan on, it makes you look skinnier. So It does. And, and you know what? For the women that are aging, you know, I have this, we have broken veins. It sort of like dis right. diffuses all those right. bad things that right. are on your legs. Yeah. But you do have to make sure you use the Q-tip for any big right. freckles or anything like that because they go darker too. Right. Well, that's why those Dancing with yeah. the Stars dancers, they're so dark because yeah. they're so slimming. They and do. It looks they good. get the, they get the airbrush, which is really oh. great. But, but, you know, okay. this Thanks. is a do-it-yourself, Shelby. Okay. All right, Thank love. you. Thank you. Thanks for the tips. Okay. Oh, it's time for some design oh. inspiration. Our Lisa Quinn is live at the...